Hello, welcome back to my channel. It is Amanda. Today I have the Morgan Taylor Change of Pace Collection for Fall 2023. I purchased this from polishpick.com. That's the info. So let's get to the swatches. This is a six piece collection. All of these were swatched over a base coat and all are topped with a shiny top coat. First polish is called All Good in the Woods. And the only descriptions I can find of these are from the Morgan Taylor website that links to the Morgan Taylor Amazon website, but they are not on, like you can't purchase them on the Amazon website yet. So the descriptions are pretty simple. This is just described as a black shimmer and that's accurate. This covers in two coats. It's very opaque in one coat, not quite completely opaque in one coat, but is very close to one coat. Two coats was easy, no issues with the formula. Um, this, the shimmer in here is very subtle. You can see it on your nails, but not really in a picture. It doesn't look like a cream polish on your nails, but you're not noticing a shimmer. It's that, you know, je ne sais quoi for nail polish. That's, that's the kind of shimmer it is, but it's beautiful and it covers in two coats. So that is all good in the woods. The next polish is called Do Me a Favor, like, like grassy do. And this is described as an ivory pearl. This one needed three coats to be completely opaque. That's not surprising at all with a light color like this. The formula was fine. It was just, it was just not quite opaque in two coats. So I added a third. This is, you know, not like a color I'm going to reach for a ton, but I love when other people wear this color. I think it looks so pretty on them, but when I wear it, I'm just like, it's not me, you know, it's just not me, but the formula was fine. Three coats of do me a favor. The next polish is called Golden Hour Glow, and this is described as a golden yellow pearl. This is a very pearly finish. You do need um, two coats for opacity, and then as you put your top coat on, you the, the top coat helps diminish some of the pearly brush strokes. Fun fact: the index finger in this swatch that you're looking at is a perfect example of why you should wait before putting top coat on your nails when you are applying top coat, because it just does this to it. And I re-swatched this nail like three times. It was late and I was just like, well, this is a learning experience for all of us. So don't put top coat on your nails right away. Your nail polish has to dry like a little bit. And I don't really care what kind of quick dry top coat you're gonna tell me to use. It's, but I do love this color. I think this is, I think this is a color people are either going to like really hate or really love. I really love it because it's kind of like ugly. And that's two coats of Golden Hour Glow. Next, we have Lost My Terrain of Thought. This is described as a khaki green cream. Very close to opaque in one coat. It needed to for complete opacity, but the formula was beautiful. You know, a khaki green cream is my jam and i really love this i think if you did this and then like some flower dots with the golden hour glow ugh, ugh, i think those colors together would be beautiful two coats of lost my train of thought the next polish is called sappy but sweet and this is described as a fuchsia berry pearl this one looks more like it has a pearl shimmer in it versus being a pearl finish uh, the formula was really nice in two coats, opaque in two coats, but it didn't have that brush strokey quality to it like Golden Hour Glow did, um, as that was more of an actual pearl finish, I think. So the formula in this is beautiful, two coats of sappy but sweet. And then the last polish is called Stay Off the Trail, and this is described as a lavender gray cream, which I think is extremely accurate. Um, very easy formula, two coats. I love this gray, but very purple leaning gray cream. If it were a gauche darker, it would be like the perfect gray cream for me. They didn't ask me and that's fine. I still think it's really beautiful. That's two coats of Stay Off the Trail. As I mentioned, these are available on the Polish Pick website right now. I think that they're also available on a few 
to other retailers. I purchased them from Polish Picks. So that's what I'm going to link in the description box. Let me know your favorite from this collection. I, I say this every time I review Morgan. I almost said Morgan Wallen. Oh my gosh. I think I need lunch. Every time I review Morgan Taylor, <laughs> their formulas are very consistent. I like the color stories that they're putting out there. I think this is a nice fall color story. It's not like overtly fall, but it definitely is fall vibes, but not like it's fall. You know? I don't want that. I want summer. <laughs> Forever. Let me know your favorite polish from this collection. I think my favorite is probably um, Golden Hour Glow and Lost My Terrain of Thought. I do, I do really like Stay Off. The only polish that I will probably not wear ever is Do Me a Favor because it's like pearly white. That's just not my color preference. I love the look of white nails on other people, but I just do not like them on me. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you are not already. And if you are newly subscribed, hello. Thank you for joining. My name is Amanda. Well, you didn't pay for anything. It's free. Thank you for subscribing. If you would like to give this video a thumbs up, that greatly helps my channel and I appreciate it so much. I will talk to you guys in my next video.